Happy beautiful day everyone. This is Jen with the Best Life Creation Society. So happy to be here sharing with you on this wonderful day. And I hope your day has been amazing. I hope it has been so satisfying. I know it has been in uh, Best Life today. We had um, Abraham Now, which means we had an edition of Best Life Now. And we also had uh, two amazing classes um, oh beautiful opportunities um, to expand with others or deciding to really flow forward in their life in a feel-good way to really align themselves up with who they really are and also Aspen did a Facebook live um, covering one of the beautiful topics, one of the processes from Ask and It Is Given, and we still have leveraging yet to come. And I wanted to uh, share a bit with you today um, about something that is very near and dear to all of us. It's part of all of us. It's um, our freedom. So, and I wanted to just read a short little excerpt from this book, Money and the Law of Attraction by Esther and Jerry Hicks. And then also I have a, um, it's an excerpt from a workshop that I revised just a little bit to um, really even resonate more. So here's from the book. The day you were born, you possessed knowledge, not hope or desire, but understanding that the basis is absolute freedom and that your quest is joy and the result of your life experience would be growth. And you knew that you are perfect and still reaching out for even more perfection. Yeah, you knew that before you came into this life experience. And uh, here's uh, the other excerpt. It says, you desire freedom and Every particle of your being from your source says, you are free. You are so free that every thought you offer, the entire universe jumps to respond to it. And so, to take that kind of knowledge and to try to confine it in any way defies the laws of the universe. You must allow yourself to be free because the entire universe is set up to accommodate that. And anything you do to the contrary will only bring you regret. You cannot contain yourself and you cannot be contained. It defies law. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? Isn't it wonderful to know that we are so free you know, and I've shared that before in different um, videos, and I'm sure you, if you've watched any of our other Facebook Lives or things, you've heard that before. We are so, so, so free. But sometimes our thoughts um, make us feel otherwise. Um, I was really inspired by the Facebook Live, it was just yesterday, that Tinica Hockford, uh, who lives in the Netherlands, and Breit Dragaset, who lives in Norway, did together. And it was also on this topic of freedom. And Tinica was sharing how her husband had been imprisoned multiple times, uh, both in his home country of Uruguay and also in Argentina. Um, before he came to reside where he does now in um, the Netherlands. And he had been um, imprisoned because of his political beliefs, because of um, how he felt about things. And it was so powerful when Tinica shared about it because from his perspective, he said very clearly that yes, they can put you in prison, they can imprison your body, but you are so free because they can't imprison your mind. No one can think for you. No one can activate your imagination. Nobody can vibrate for you. Yeah. And isn't that wonderful? Somebody who had um, multiple times of imprisonment, even some of that with torture, 
you know, very, very uncomfortable conditions, really coming to that clear understanding that we are so free. You could put somebody's body in a prison, but you cannot put their mind there. The only person that can put your mind in a prison is you. So I ask you to consider the thoughts as they're flowing to you naturally. Don't go on a big uh, hunt and search mission, but as your thoughts are flowing naturally to you, you can ask yourself, does this thought agree with who I really am? Does this thought make me feel more free? Is this thought something that makes me feel confined, makes me feel limited, makes me feel unsafe? Right? Um, because those thoughts, those negative thoughts, those beliefs, those human streams of consciousness are the things that make us feel unfree. But the truth is, you are the only one that can think your thoughts. You are the only one that can vibrate for you. And when I say vibrate, I mean, this is a vibrational universe. Everything is vibrational. And um, you are the creator of your own vibrations. So be easy about this. Be kind to yourself. Love yourself more. And you will see how the vibrations that you are transmitting that are coming back to you will be more loving, more kind, more abundant, more aligned with the desires of your heart, the desires, the requests, that you hold so near and dear. And know this, oh, you are so free and you don't have to do anything to earn that freedom. You are free because you are you, as is every other being on this planet. We are all so free. Celebrate that freedom, honor that freedom and be who you are, shine in your way and flow in the direction of things that feel better for you, always.